Good morning. Today's lesson is lesson 3.1 in your Go Math textbook. We are on page 101. The title of our lesson today is Counting Equal Groups, Count Equal Groups. And the essential question, how can you use equal groups to find how many in all? Pardon me. So, unlock the problem. Equal groups. Equal groups have the same number of objects in each group. Tim has six toy cars. Each car has four wheels. How many wheels are there in all? So, here's a little uh, couple questions to ask yourself to help you solve these type of problems. How many wheels are on each car? Each car has four wheels. How many equal groups of wheels are there? Well, there are six toy cars. So how can you find how many wheels in all? Okay, so we're going to start with using counters to make six groups of four. And counters are just basically uh, foam discs. Uh, they have red on one side, yellow on the other side. And in our textbook, if you don't have counters, you can just use circles. So circles will represent that as well. So here we have number of equal groups. So it says draw four counters in each group. Step two. Skip count to find how many wheels in all. Skip count by fours until you say six numbers. So here we have another set of four. Four, eight. We're going to add four more to get to 12. Add four more. We're now at 16. Add four more. That's five groups of four. We're at 20. Five groups of four, we're at 24. Okay, so four groups of six groups of four is 24. So there are six groups with four wheels in each group. So there are 24 wheels in all. And here's a math talk. What if Tim had eight cars? How could you find the total number of wheels? Well, we know that he had six cars here, so we would add seven, eight and continue adding fours. Okay, example two. Count equal groups to find the total. Sam, Tyla, and Tia each have five pennies. How many pennies do they have in all? So how many pennies does each person have? Each have five pennies. How many equal groups of pennies are there? One, two, three. Three people, so three groups of five. So we're going to draw five counters in each group. And think, there are blank groups of five pennies. There are three groups. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So each person has five pennies. So there are three fives. So we can skip count by fives to figure this out. Five, ten, fifteen. So they have 15 pennies. Explain why you can skip count by five to find how many. Each group has five pennies. Why can you count by fives? 
Okay. Each group had five pennies, so I know, so I can count by fives. Complete. Share and show, page 102. Use the picture, skip count, to find how many wheels in all. So I see groups, uh, four groups. How do I know there's four groups? Because I see four green circles. And in each circle, there are two wheels. Okay. So, how many groups of two? Four groups of two. Which is the same thing as saying four twos. So we can skip count by twos to find our answer. Two, four, six, eight. There are eight wheels. On the math talk question, if we look at that, it says, if there were two groups of four wheels, would your answers, answers change? If so, how? So let's see. If we had two groups of four, we would be counting by fours this time, and we'd go four, eight. So we would still get the same number of wheels, but we have less groups, and we have more in each group. But the answer didn't change. All right, draw equal groups, skip count to find how many. Two groups of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I have two groups of six, so I'm going to skip count by six because I have two sixes. Six plus six is 12. Number three, three groups of two. One, Two, three. So three groups of two means I have three twos. So I can count by twos. Two, four, six. Count equal groups to find how many. I have one, two, three, four. Four groups, and in every group there are three counters. So we can count by threes. So three, six, nine, twelve. Twelve in all. In number five, I see three groups, and in each group I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I have three groups of seven. So we can skip count by sevens. 7, 7 plus 7 is 14, 14 plus 7 is 21, so there's 21 counters in all. Draw three equal groups, skip count to find how many. Three groups, and in each group we're going to put Three. So that means we have three threes. So three, six, nine. Three groups of three is nine. Two groups of nine. Two groups, and in each group we're going to have nine. So we have two nines. 9, 9 plus 9 is 18, so 18. A toy car costs $3. A toy truck costs $4. Which costs more, four cars or three trucks? So here we're going to have four cars. So those are my four cars, and each car costs $3. So I'm going to represent that with three counters in each circle for the cars. There are three car trucks, and each of the trucks costs four dollars. Okay. Now let's figure out the costs of these. So here I have four threes, and four threes is three, six, nine. 12, 3, 6, 9, 12. 
Here I have three groups of four, so I'm going to count by fours. Four, eight, twelve. Three groups of four equals twelve, and four groups of three equals twelve. <coughs> Elliot has a collection of twenty toy cars. Will he be able to put an equal number of toy cars on three shelves? Um, so we're going to have three shelves. So let's let's draw three three shells. Our, our three circles will represent our three shells. And we have 20 toy cards. So let's just start putting toy cards equally on each shelf. There's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20. So this one has 7, 7, 6. So he will not be able to put an even amount. An equal amount, sorry. We will have what, two shelves of seven. And one shelf of six. So clearly he can't have enough. He doesn't have enough. Okay. All right, number 10. Thinking smarter. On page 104, Tina, Charlie, and Amber have toy cars. Each car has four wheels. How many wheels do their cars have all together? All right, so a couple of things we need to know here. Each car has four wheels. We have one, two, three people we're looking for. And how many cars do they have all together? Okay, so what do we need to find? How many wheels? All together. What information will you use from the graph to solve the problem? So in this graph, Tina has two cars, Charlie has five cars, Amber has three cars. So I'm just going to need to know their the number of their cars, correct? Well, I don't know, something like the number of cars for each person. Show the steps you should use to solve the problem. So Tina has two groups, and in each group she has four. Charlie has five groups of four. And Amber has three groups of four. Okay, so we're counting by fours. So Tina equals four, eight. Charlie. Four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty, and Amber. We're going to count her three groups of four by four, eight, twelve. So, so we modeled how many wheels are in each of their groups. Tina has 
two circles because she has two cars. There are five circles for Charlie because he has five cars. And Amber, there are three circles because there are, she has three cars. And each one has four, four counters in them because each car has four wheels. So now we're just going to add up all three of the people. And we know that 8 and 2 is 10. Because I'm going to regroup the 10 ones with 110. Two tens plus 110 is three tens plus the one regroup 10 is four tens. So all together they have 40 wheels. Now someone might be saying, well, Mr. Hammond, couldn't I have just gone 5, 8, 10? See that they have 10 cars and then counted 10 fours? Sure. 10 cars total. And we could have counted by fours until we got, the, got 10 uh, cars. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. That's five fours, right? 24, 28, 32, 36, 40. So, either method works. And number 11. A bookcase has four shelves. Each shelf holds five books. How many books are in the bookcase? Draw counters to model the problem, then explain how you solve the problem. Each book shape, shelf has five books. Okay, so what do we do? We've been modeling this, so each group has five. So we already know that each one has five counters, so we're going to skip count by fives. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. And then we're just, just explain that what you did. I drew five counters in each box because each shelf has five books. Skip counting four fives equals 20. So that's really it for what we're doing today. So you're just modeling uh, counters and skip counting um, in equal groups. So you'll now do your online go math assignment. If you need any help, you can stop and ask me if um, and as, as, as we talk about, use your, your textbook to help you. The questions will be similar. And you can also rewatch the video. So until then, tomorrow we'll be talking about how addition and multiplication relate. Thanks.